Before loading samples into the evaporator, you should have read and signed the evaporator COSH forms. This will inform you of the potential hazards of using the chemicals that need to be used. Wear safety goggles and gloves when handling chemicals. In addition, remember to wear gloves when handling samples or putting anything into the evaporator, as grease that builds up on the skin can affect the vacuum in the chamber. The evaporator has five places numbered two to six for samples. Place 1 is never used for samples, as it is exposed during the bake-out stage. While the evaporator is venting, you can usually put your samples onto the sample holder. Make sure that the holder is clean by wiping with acetone and then IPA. The isopropanol will remove any acetone that is left on the holder surface. Wiping, dispose of the wax. After the IPA has dried, we can stick the samples to the holder using PMMA glue. Only a small amount is needed. Using the tweezers, we can then put the sample onto the holder. Press the corners of the sample down so the sample sits flat on the surface. Remember, the holder will be turned upside down when in the evaporator, so make sure your samples are in the correct positions. While the beer is drying, start to fill in the evaporator bottle. You will need to write your initials, the date, the crucible number and material that you are using, and the usage for the crucible monitor. You can also write the position number of the sample that you are using. Press the shutter open button to open the shutter above the crucibles. The evaporator has three crucibles that can be used to evaporate different materials. Refer to the poster on the wall to find out which crucible to use for the material you want to evaporate. The poster also contains the details of the layer number and other calibration factors needed to calibrate the rate monitor for your deposition. to see what the last material to be deposited in the crucible box. Only firm one should be used in crucible port 2, but different materials are used in ports 1 and 3. Each material has a different crucible. If the material you want to use is not already loaded, you will need to change the crucible. Ask an experienced user to show you how. Check the amount of material in the crucible. If more material is needed, find the source material and the beaker for that material in the desiccator. Pour in a small amount of the source material into the beaker. Spatulas are available if needed. Only a small amount of material is needed to fill the crucible. Tint the material from the beaker into the crucible. and then close the shutter. Check that the samples are stuck to the holder by turning the holder upside down with your hand underneath.
If the samples are not stuck, you will be able to catch them. Check that the sample place number is set to 1. With the samples facing down, put the holder into the evaporator so the handle sticks out of the hole in the 1 position. You might want to practice without the samples on the holder as there is not a lot of room. With some holders, the handle restricts the rotation of the sample position. Check this by rotating the holder through all the positions. Finish on position 1.